In this video, I will show you how to create a network chart in Tableau. You just need Tableau Desktop and a text editor. Uh, we will use the sample Superstore dataset that comes pre-installed with Tableau. Uh, and I will show you all the different steps, prepare the data, generate the network, and customize it in Tableau. To create a network chart, we need a special data structure. It's a JSON file with a list of nodes and a list of links. Uh, you, we cannot use simply a CSV or an Excel file to generate. So for example, um, the, the picture you can see, it's a network, it's a really simple network with two nodes, A and B, and a link between them. So in order to create that, this is the kind of file that you need, uh, the file structure that you need. Uh, it's a JSON file with a list of nodes. Here I have my two nodes, uh, A and B, and each node has a size here, 10 and 2. And I also have a list of the links, and here there is only one link uh, with a source A and a target B. The sample superstore file is an Excel file, so we cannot just use it as it is to create a network. We need to convert it to, to this format. But I'm going to show you how to do that in Tableau with just two calculations. So on the left, I have Tableau open, and on the right, I will keep my example JSON file uh, just to make sure that while we write our calculation, we don't make any mistake. Let's open sample superstore. And the network we are going to create today, we are going to visualize uh, the network of all the manufacturer and the subcategory. We are going to be able to see uh, which manufacturer sells which subcategory and vice versa. So the nodes in our network will be both manufacturers and subcategories. So we need for each manufacturer and each subcategories to create something like that, which will identify uh, each manufacturer and each subcategory. We will also use the size to represent the sales generated by both the manufacturer and the subcategories. So let's create a new worksheet um, and let's put the manufacturer and also our sales here as a discrete. That is really just to be able to, to make sure that what we are going to create is, is correct. And now we are going to make a calculated field that we will call nodes uh, manufacturer. In this calculation, we are going to create all the nodes for our different manufacturer. And to do that, we need to generate a string that looks like the example of a node we have here in our, in our JSON. So let me just copy paste this node. And what I will do is just remove the space at the beginning and add two quotes, one at the beginning and one at the end, to have our base string that we need to, to create. So if I click here on Apply and I just drag and drop my nodes manufacturing text, we see that we have always the same, uh, the same nodes, ID A, A size 10. So of course, this is not what we need. We need to configure this calculation now to have the name of our manufacturer uh, in the ID and the size being the sales. So let's do that. What I will start to do is remove A, close the quote, add a plus, and then the name of my manufacturer, add another plus, and then reopen the quote. If I click on apply, instead of having A everywhere, I have the name of my manufacturer. Now let's do the same for the size. Instead of 10, I will remove 10, close the quote, add a plus, sum of sales plus open a new quote. Now I have an issue. The issue is we cannot concatenate uh, string and float values. That is correct. So what I need to do is convert sum of sales into a string. To do that, I can use the str function and say str, so string of sum of sales. Now I have another issue which is that I cannot mix aggregate and non-aggregate argument in this function because manufacturer is not aggregated, but sum of sales is. So if you want to aggregate manufacturer, we can use min, max, or attr in this case because we are at the row level, so it doesn't really matter. So let's use min of manufacturer. Let's click on apply. Now we have another issue. Manufacturer right now is aggregated, so we need to just reput it. And we have something that works. We have ID, the name, the, the name of the manufacturer, size, and the sum of sales. The only issue that I see is I don't really like to have all those decimal numbers. And that happens when you want to convert a float into a string. So in order to fix that quickly, because we don't need that much of, uh, of details, we don't need the decimals here, we can simply convert sum of sales into an 
integer. So we can say int of sum of sets. And now when I click on apply, I have my nodes that are correctly formatted. I have the ID, the name of the manufacturer, size, and the sales that that size should represent. Since we are going to represent both the manufacturer and the subcategories as nodes, it's always good to have a way to identify which nodes are manufacturer and which nodes are uh, subcategories. Uh, you can use a color or a shape to do that. But we need that information in the data. So because you are creating a, a string, you can add more information to each node. Currently, we have the ID, we have the size, but we can add a new attribute, a new information that will tell us if it's a manufacturer or if it's a subcategory. So to do that, um, we can simply, before the closing bracket, add a comma and say type for the type of nodes that we are going to use. And then for this one, we will have manufacturer. So let's click on apply and I have comma type manufacturer. So each nodes will be identified as a manufacturer. Now let's do the same for the subcategories. So we can close this one and create a new sheet and have the subcategories, sum of sales, just to make sure that what we are creating is correct as discrete. Instead of redoing everything from scratch, we will just duplicate nodes manufacturer, edit it, and instead of nodes manufacturer is node subcategories. Uh, the ID will be the mean of subcategories in that case. Size is still the sum of cells and the type will be subcategories. Let's click on OK and take these two text. And we have each nodes is an ID accessories, size, the size of the sum of cells and type subcategories. Looks good. The data prep part is almost finished. We just need to now generate the links. So let's create a new worksheet with the manufacturer and the subcategories and create a new calculated field that we will call links. And this time we are going to create something that looks like that with a source and a target. So again, I will just copy paste them, have a opening quote and a closing quote. And instead of A, in that case, we will have closing quote plus manufacturer plus opening quote. And in the target, we will have add the subcategories, something like this. Let's click on apply, take our links, put it on text and see if everything looks good. And we do have for every source, which is our manufacturer, some target that are our uh, subcategories. In that case, the order between the source and the target is really not important. I could just invert uh, manufacturer and subcategories and will still work. And even in the calculation, I could say source, subcategories, target, uh, manufacturer, it will produce the same result because um, we it's not a directional network. As long as we have a source and a target, uh, we will have a link between those two. In our example here, we just had one link, so there was no comma, but it's really important for us because we are going to generate multiple links that we also have a comma at the end of our string um, in order to copy paste that in our JSON file. What we need to do now is to create the same JSON file with the list of the nodes and the links that we just generated with Tableau. Um, so I will create a new file in my text editor and I will call it uh, superstore.json. Yes, create file. And I will copy paste just the, the example that I have is to have a, just to have a base. I will put the example.json file in the description so you don't have to type all the characters in, in that file. Um, and what we will do is now remove the nodes that we have here, the, the, the links, and we will paste what we have created in Tableau. So our nodes are for the manufacturer on this one. So you can just select all, view data. Don't copy directly, it will not work. You need to view the data. And then this column, I will copy, go in my nodes and paste. I will do the same now for the subcategories. Select all, view data, 
select that not subcategories column, copy, and then paste it below. When you paste um, something from Tableau like this, it adds the name of the column. So we need to remove the node subcategories and also the nodes manufacturer up there. Another thing we need also to remove is the last value will have a comma that we don't need. We need to remove that, otherwise it will not work. So just remove my the last nodes should not have a comma. Now we need to do the same for the links. So I will go on the links tab, copy, uh, select all, view data, click on my links column, copy, and then paste. Again, remove the last comma of the last line, and also on top, remove the column name that is links, like this. You can save the file. Um, depending on the editor, um, it will tell you if you have an error or not. Here is saying there is no issue with my JSON file. So I'm ready to go. We can use this file to generate our network. So now that our file is ready, we can use a tool that will help us generate our network by just inputting our JSON and being able to visually construct our network. Let's go on, uh, on a web browser and you can go to la-database.com and click on tools up there or go directly to tools.ladatabase.com. Um, I will put the link, of course, in the description. So let's click on network. And you can see that we already have a network chart that is just an example that the tool generates uh, as a starting point. Uh, on the left, you can see the configuration and uh, we can upload our own file. If you click on the question mark, you will have some explanation of what is the, the, the format that, that is needed to generate the network, but we already covered that uh, before. So our file is, is ready. Uh, so you can click on choose file and then select our superstore.json. And then we have our network showing the different the different manufacturer and also the different subcategories. We recognize phone, arts, uh, and paper here, for example. And then you can really configure your network. You can, for example, change the view, the size of the view, so you can uh, change the width and the height. When you change the configuration here in the tool, it will also impact directly the dashboard that you generate in Tableau. So your dashboard will have the size uh, that you input here in the view. You can also decide to change the size of the nodes. Uh, here I could increase or decrease the size. Uh, you can also configure that the size of the nodes depends on the number of links that that nodes has. Or you can use a field and that is really interesting because in our data we put the size uh, information that correspond to the, the sales amount. So we can use that uh, and visualize the, the size of our nodes uh, being the sales that we have in our data. You don't need to call that attribute in the JSON uh, size. It can be named whatever you want. It can be named sales, for example. You just need to select the right attribute that you want to use as a size. After that, you can apply uh, different forces. So for example, you can uh, have a force for the link or not. If you don't have, you will see no link. So it's better in that case to, to have some, uh, some links. The charge is the force of repulsion between the different nodes. The collision is the amount of pixel between, the minimum amount of pixel between two nodes. Um, and then we have some X and Y force to apply uh, to make our network more horizontal or vertical. And a radius force that is used to kind of force our network to be within a, a circle. Now we can play a bit with the tool and change a bit the forces and the, the configuration. Uh, so for my the size of my nodes, I would like my biggest node, so the one with the highest number of cells, to be at least 50 pixels. Uh, when I do that, I can see that it's probably better if I increase a bit the collision force, so I will add at least minimum 10 pixels between two nodes. Um, now, Probably it's good if I also add some radius force of like a hundred pixel to force my network to be kind of inside my, my view. And I could apply also a bit of Y force um, to make sure my network is more like horizontal than vertical, something like that. Finally, I can increase the charge force to maybe 300, um, 300 to really have that repulsion between the nodes and really uh, expand my network and, and make some room to, to have more readability. 
Okay, so I think the network looks really good. I think it's it's uh, it's ready. Uh, I like I like its shape. So now what we can do is simply download the Tableau file. So the last button is download Tableau file. You can click on it, and you should download a TWBX or a Tableau file that if you open, uh, will show you the network. So uh, we can wait. The Tableau is currently opening, and you can see normally we will have the exact same network inside Tableau. So that's what the tool does. It converts that network into a Tableau file uh, that is ready to use with some tooltip uh, and also some interaction already. You can click on a node to see its links. So now in the last part, we are going to just take that really simple uh, network in Tableau and just add a bit of customization, add some colors to, to make it really um, nice to see. In my dashboard, I will go to the worksheet and start making some changes. So the technology I'm using, the technique I'm using uh, for uh, to, to create the network is called a map layers, when you can put different layers of information. So I have one for the nodes that I could remove and one for the links that I can remove. Um, so you can really configure the nodes and the links separately. In the nodes, what I could do is uh, actually add that column, that information of what type of nodes it is. And I have the nodes type is here, type nodes. So I could use that as a color, for example, but also um, instead of circle, I could select shape and use my type as different shape. Uh, we will edit, of course, the shape and the color. So in my shapes, what I would like to use is maybe is field sh shapes. Um, and for the manufacturer, maybe I want circles, but for my subcategories, maybe I want that tilted square. Let's click on OK. Yeah, looks good. And now for the columns, I could also have a color for the manufacturer and a color for the subcategories. So let's take the manufacturers to be uh, a dark, really dark blue, and for my subcategories to be my um, my purple, something like that. Um, on every node, I can also add the ID to know which nodes are we looking at. Um, we can match the color of that we already use, maybe put them in bold. And for the links, currently I think it's um, better if we maybe decrease the opacity or maybe have a lighter gray for our notes, something like that. Now, if, if I go to my dashboard, I could see that I have a really nice network that is customized and uh, ready to ready to be published and visualized. Thank you for watching the video. If you want to be sure to not miss the next tutorial, please subscribe to the channel and see you soon.